Pasture management happens months before you even get birds out on pasture managing your grassland. I did something not perfectly and I've made this mistake in the past. It, it You know, it happens. Uh, I want to highlight today what went wrong and uh, what I plan to do to fix it in the future. So look at this right here. It's spiky. I let the grass grow up really high. I selectively mow and manage my pastures to allow for wildflowers to grow, have our pollinators in the area be able to uh, get some, some pollen, you know, do their thing. But uh, I didn't necessarily plan on taking chickens along this route and I let this area grow a little bit long. And at, if you let the, the grass grow too long, one, the birds can't navigate through it uh, so I'll go through and mow ahead of time, but then if you get it too long the stems get all woody and hard And then it becomes these little spears that stick out of the ground and uh, the birds have to navigate around that I haven't had any injure themselves yet like they're tall enough uh, with the mowing height that it hasn't been an issue But these these are hard like this this plant whatever this plant is 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 woody and hard and difficult and it's just, you know, it's tougher to drag the chicken tractor over. Uh, this is something that could put out these little broad leaves. Um, but instead, there's these wooden stems and not a lot of leaves, which means less forage for the chickens, which means more feed that they're going to eat because they're eating less grass and pasture. And it's just not good all around. So there's some thought here. Well, I'm going to let me switch camera views. So how to avoid this is some necessary forethought, thinking, all right, this grass in that field, you know, it's been this wet and you're kind of judging it and you want it to stay a certain height and you might say, you know, you plan out your pasture rotations in the winter or ahead of time, hopefully, if you're, you know, a little better than I am, uh, <laughs> and go through it and mow it a couple times, once, twice, maybe send animals through, if you got cows, sheep, whatever, uh, through the area before the chickens to make sure that grass height doesn't get too high and those stems don't get really woody, uh, maintains a better forage level for your birds, and then it doesn't have these little woody stem bombs uh, that the birds have to navigate around when you're moving the chicken tractor or, you know, God forbid that they injure themselves on it. I haven't seen it yet, but, you know, I'm knock on wood. Um, <clears throat> you know, and that requires a little bit of thought. And you think about why we raise chickens out on pasture uh, instead of barns, or better yet, why would we raise them in barns instead of pasture? A barn system that requires less thought. It's more turnkey. The a, a manufacturer, a chicken manufacturer, can give you you know a system of start to finish, how to raise birds, uh, and it's very like very rigid in its management style, where a lot of the variable variables have been controlled. You don't even have to worry about grass like this because there's no grass you're just on wood chips but that stinks that's the terrible way to raise chickens chickens should be raised out on pasture but the reason why we switched away from it is because pasture takes more of this this brain power not my hat this your brain to manage you got to have some forethought you got to know where your birds are going to go what your stocking densities are how often you can run birds over the same patch of grass uh, how you're going to manage your forage which type of forage is best for the chickens all these little details which make you a better pasture farmer um, all those details have been slowly lost over the generations because we started locking the animals up, putting them in barns, controlling the variables, getting them as fat as fast as we can. And now we have this tasteless, bland, horrible product, all because we wanted to be a little bit more lazy, a little bit more dumb. So not calling farmers lazy, everybody works really hard. But yeah, no, the barn system is not going to work. So with the pasture raised system, uh, it takes some more thought, it takes some more planning, it takes some more management, it takes a little bit more labor. But what you get at the end is a better system for the chickens, a better system for the environment, and really the real end game here is a better chicken, a better end product, better fuel for us people who are eating chickens as a form of sustenance. We eat the chickens and the meat and then we grow and we're strong and then we're like, yeah, we're gonna raise more chickens and you know, everything is good, everybody's happy. Um, so, a little more forethought in the future, mowing ahead of time, you know, someday I'll have cows here and I'll be managing the rotations that way and it takes some time, it takes some management, but you get used to it. It's a skill that you learn. Anything that you're doing for work right now, you had to learn, you didn't just pick it up right away. Uh, this is the same thing. If you want more information on how to be a 
better chicken farmer, a better chicken farmer than me because I screwed up, go to APPA.org, A-P-P-P-P-P-P-A, A-P-P-P-A.org, the American Pasture Poultry Producers Association. I'll put it up on like the screen right now. Um, I, I get nothing for this plug other than the fact that I'm a paying member. I love reading the forums. There's always good questions. People ask questions that I want to know the answers to before I even know that I want to know the answers to them. And uh, the knowledge base is just invaluable. That's how I've uh, grown as a poultry farmer is through this organization. That's how you get better is by aligning yourself with people who are doing the same things that you're doing, trying to make the world a better place, trying to do things a little bit more sustainably, regeneratively. And now I have to get back to chores and stop talking on a freaking camera. Uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video, and until next time, I will see you out in the field. Mm -hmm.